Now, shortly after news came through of North Korea's missile launches, South Korea's Prime Minister, uh, who is also the acting president, Hwang kyo convened an emergency meeting of the National Security Council at the presidential office. We are now going to cross to the presidential office of Chong Wa-dae, where we have our correspondent Song ji uh, standing by for us on the line. So, ji how is the South Korean government uh, reacting to this latest provocation? Good afternoon, Mark. At this National Security Council meeting, South Korea's Prime Minister Hwang Kyo won condemned North Korea's missile launches as a direct challenge and grave provocation to the international community. Hwang recently convened a National Security Council meeting after the murder of Kim Jong-nam, but this was the first time the acting president has chaired the meeting at the so-called underground bunker of Cheong Wa-dae since he assumed the duty in place of suspended President Park Geun-hye. The acting president said North Korea's missile provocations are an imminent and existing threat against the security and lives of the South Korean people. Kim Jong-nam 암살 사건에서 보인 북한 정권의 잔악성과 무모함으로 볼때 북한 정권의 손에 핵무기가 쥐어진다면 결과는 상상하기조차 어려울 정도로 끔찍할 것입니다. The acting president also ordered the maintenance of a robust defense readiness in close alliance with the U.S. and to deter additional provocations through the joint South Korea-U.S. military drills that are currently being held. Aulo, 주한 미군 사드 배치를 조속히 완료하여 북한의 핵 미사일에 대한 방어 체계를 갖추는 동시에 대북 억제력 제고를 위해. 미국의 확장 억제력을 실효적으로 강화할 수 있는 방안들도 적극 추진해 나가야 할 것입니다. Hong pledged to focus all diplomatic efforts so that the international sanctions are practically and strongly implemented on North Korea. Shortly after this meeting, National Security Council Chief Kim Guan Jin also spoke with his U.S. counterpart, H.R. McMaster, on the phone to beef up cooperation in 